Welcome to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham Insurance and Financial Services. This show focuses on sharing good news and powering the good in our community. Now here's your host, City Current CEO, Jeremy Park. Welcome back to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference and powering the good. And that's why we're honored to have with us David Pickler. He is with Pickler Wealth Advisors. He's a wealth advisor. He's an author and speaker, a public education advocate. We're talking all about his new book, Pillars of Purpose, Leadership Lessons for Achieving a Life of Significance. David, how are you doing, buddy? I tell you, I'm awesome. Every day above ground is a great day. Well, you do so much good for the community. We'll talk about all the philanthropic endeavors. We'll talk about the commitment to education. We'll talk, obviously, about the new book. But let's start with a little bit of your background. When you talk about what you do and why you do it, give us a little bit of your personal background. Sure. Uh, listen, I am I am a, a kid who grew up in public education. Uh, my my wife and I have been deeply involved in PTA. She was actually a five time PTA president. And in 1998, I was very honored uh, to uh, to run for the very first elected Shelby County School Board and had the opportunity to serve on that board for 16 years board chairman for 12 and eventually became uh, the state and national school board president. Uh, about 40 years ago, I got into the wealth advisory business and actually 20 years ago, opened up Pickler Wealth Advisors out here in Collierville. And then shortly thereafter, we opened up our law firm, our accounting firm. And, uh, and then also recently, about 10 years ago, we established our foundation, the American Pillars Education Foundation. Uh, we're just uh, we're a mom and pop operation, uh, but uh, we're all about giving back to the community. You know, we talk about the fact that our business is based on the twin pillars of advisory excellence and community investment. And we are all about giving back and uh, are just blessed every day that we can serve our clients and serve the community. Talk about what led you to write this book. You know, when I first started thinking about this, and I've been thinking about writing a book for several years. And initially, it's going to be a bit of a legacy project, you know, something that I could maybe leave for the kids and grandkids so that, you know, maybe when the old man was dust, they, they might remember, you know, some of the things I was involved in. But what was interesting, Jeremy, was as I began trying to really draft the book, really began to write it, then I was on a bit of a block. And I was having a really hard time, you know, getting my voice, really understanding what I wanted to say. And then I had this epiphany. Uh, that I said, you know what, the, the problem here is I'm focusing too much on me. And uh, I've always been the kind of guy that I have this little alarm that goes off in my head if I feel like I'm talking about myself too much. And so when I began to change the focus uh, to uh, this book, to really all about the stories that I've been involved with, the people who have inspired me, uh, and, and about building a life that truly is more than being successful, about being significant then all of a sudden the words begin to flow and and it really became very impactful in my mind and my heart that i could hopefully you know uh share some of the lessons that i've learned over you know my lifetime you know and, and again you know, talk about some of these incredible stories out there and hopefully share some ideas and thoughts that can help other people as they find their why find their purpose and and build lives of, of great significance and in doing things that really will leave that long shadow for others to follow Share a little bit of the process and the balance between sharing your story and obviously those of others woven together. Because when you think about all the things that you're talking about, commitment to community, relationships, philanthropy, but then also to the power, obviously, of education and transformation, public education, specifically in that case. And then you look at entrepreneurialism and leadership and these business lessons that are all woven together. There's, you know, to your point, your stories and then others, but trying to make sense of it strategically so that the reader can take it away and, and have this kind of through line. So share that balance of your story and others getting to the end result of what you want to accomplish with the book. Well, really, the book was really built in in three basic areas. Uh, the first is really what I call the bedrock principles. And the bedrock principles are really built around uh, the, these five amazing uh, factors that really will help each person understand their why. 
One of my favorite quotes of all time came from Mark Twain. Mark Twain once said that the two most important days in any person's life is the day they're born and the day they understand why. And, and the first part is really is about understanding your why, understanding your purpose. And we talk about the power of the possible. We talk about perseverance. We talk about integrity. We talk about discipline. We talk about passion, perseverance. All these things really go towards helping someone identify what their why is, because it's a very ind individual process. And we weave in those stories of my life, as well as some great examples from you know, across history and people that I've known. The second section is really, if you would, the how-to part is what we call the, it is truly the pillars of purpose. Nine very specific uh, pillar that really talks about how you can go out there and, and develop the skills, develop the talent to do those things that can help you build upon that why, build upon that purpose to really achieve that, that life of success and significance. And the, the final section is really when we bring it all together. We talk about that concept of accountability and that concept of reaching the pinnacle and understanding the difference between success and significance. You know, and I know you know this so well, Jeremy, there's an awful lot of people out there who are successful, but there's far fewer who truly are significant. And if you think about achieving something that's beyond just benefiting yourself, you know, they can really, you know, can, can, can make a change in our world, make a change in our community. As you say all the time, finding the good and, 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 then, and then living a life that truly means something uh, beyond just the, you know, our, our, our normal little uh, sphere of our personal influence. And so what this book is all about is weaving together those personal experiences I've had with, with also amazing people who had history, people like Abraham Lincoln, people like Rafael Nadal from the tennis world, uh, you know, and, and people who come together from all different walks of life, but who have shown us a path forward to really learning a, a way to, to achieve a life that is, is very meaningful, very impactful, very important. Your story in and of itself is unique, tying in Rafa from the tennis world, obviously unique, which is awesome. Share maybe one or two ways this book is very different than other leadership-oriented books. Well, I think that the most important thing is this book, first of all, it really starts with an internal conversation. Because one of the things that I've learned throughout life is that so many leadership books are all about find out something that you're not great at, and here's how you can become better at it. You know, I think about the concept of, of a, a pit and a lump of coal, you know, and uh, and so many people, they have something they're not great at. It's a little bit like that, that fruit pit. And you can just keep applying pressure and keep uh, doing everything that you can to try to be a little bit better and keep polishing that pit. But at the end of the day, it's still a pit. But if on the other hand, if you have something that is an innate talent, a passion, something that you truly believe in, and something that you're good at and you enjoy, but with enough pressure, with enough, enough training, with enough focus, you can take that lump of coal and, like we know, and make it into a diamond. And so this book is really about finding the things you enjoy, finding the things you love, and, and, making, and making yourself the very best that you can be. And that's when our focus, instead of trying to be better at things that we don't enjoy, but to be finding something that we really love and, and building a life that's built upon that love, on that empathy, on that passion, and that commitment. And you can then have a life that you're doing something you truly enjoy, can truly be passionate about, and can truly make a difference. And to me, that's the single most important difference. I think the second one is this is a book that's about doing something beyond just something that benefits us, that benefits the community, the world in general. You know, we I, I met a great friend many years ago who's in the book named Ray Olachia. Uh, Ray Olachia was a Native American of the, of the Sioux Indian tribe. And he talked to me about many things. But one thing he talked about, we said, you want to lead a life that will leave a long shadow for others to follow. And that to me is so important because, you know, we want to leave a legacy of not just what we did for ourselves, but what we did for others. Going through the process of writing the book, did it help clarify anything for you? Did it reframe some perspectives? Did it, you know, recommit in terms of doubling down on the commitment to like philanthropy, casting a long shadow? Like, did, it, did the process of going through writing the book, did it help clarify anything for you? You know what? The most important they clarified is the power of relationships. You know, we are all so blessed to have so many people who come into our lives that, can provide such amazing benefits for us 
and if we work together, you know, and, and the power of relationship, the power of community, and the fact that as individuals, we can accomplish a few things, but as a community, you know, when we bring people together and bring people together in a shared passion, a shared commitment, a shared purpose, we can accomplish great things. We can move mountains. And, and so to me, that really is what it's all about, is finding people who share that vision, share that, that passion, and bring them together in a common mission, a common vision, and, and, and a common purpose. And, and there's nothing that we can't accomplish. You know, we talk about as a community in the Memphis area, you know, the potential that we have. Well, to me, the potential is really about finding a shared vision, that shared purpose, and then bringing all the different elements of our community together to really pursue that passion, pursue that purpose, and then we can accomplish anything and everything we want to. Well, when you talk about giving back and commitment to community, proceeds give back for the book as well. So talk about that aspect. Sure. Uh, when I left public office uh, back in 2016, 2014, uh, we formed uh, the American Pillars Education Foundation. And uh, we do work all across the country in financial literacy and workforce development. And uh, 100% of all the proceeds of Pillars of Purpose go towards the American Pillars Education Foundation. And uh, so we're very, very proud of the work that we're doing. Uh, we actually are getting ready to, uh, to launch the first ever national national standards and aligned curriculum on public for public education all across the country for financial literacy. Because again, that is such a huge area of concern. One of the biggest causes of divorce, one of the biggest causes of suicide is financial issues, financial dysfunction. We have an epidemic in this country as it relates to financial illiteracy. And that is a huge part of our commitment to moving forward and to making a difference in our community. And we want to continue that work and really spread, you know, that 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 very important message that we need to empower our kids to be able to be full participants in our economy and be able to make great choices. And that truly is that the most basic level of workforce development. We'll talk about where we can get the book. So the book recently released in April. So talk about the book and where we can get it. Absolutely. You can go to Amazon.com uh, and uh, you can buy, again, Pillars of Purpose, David Pickler. You also can go to www.pillarsofpurpose.com. That makes it easy. Talk about for you as a speaker, because I know you speak a lot all over the nation. Give us some of the topics, the main things that you like to focus on as a guest speaker. Oh, my goodness. You know, it really is the power of the possible. It's opening yourself up to yes. You know, think of that in your life, Jeremy, all the different opportunities, all the different doors that were open just because you had the courage to say yes. You know, so many times in our life, people come to us and we're given opportunities. And oftentimes that go to phrase is, no, I can't do it. No, I'm too busy. Uh, but uh, but really, you know, I love to focus on the fact that when we open ourselves up to yes, when we open ourselves up to the power of the possible, and then we have that passion, that perseverance, that courage, that dedication, that focus, we can move mountains, you know, and I try, I like to myself as a person who is just a normal guy. There's nothing really special about me other than the fact that I believe I have an uncommon focus, an uncommon passion to try to want to make a difference. And when you open yourself up to that power of the possible, when you open yourself up to yes, then amazing things can happen. Dive in a little deeper on that as we wrap up, because I think to your point, when you find the, the purpose and when you double down and just like you have with public education and what you're doing now, it lights a fire of enthusiasm that is really powerful for your own life, but obviously transformational for the community. So talk about what this commitment has really meant for you and your family and your businesses in terms of really doubling down and saying, hey, yes, I'm going to say yes, I'm going to get involved, I'm going all in but what it then does to create these amazing ripples in the community and in your own life, share a little bit of that perspective. Sure. You know, this isn't just about being excited. It's not just about being passionate. You know, so many times we've been to these great speaking presentations and we're all fired up and, and then 24 hours later, we're back to normal. You've got to find a way to be intentional. You've got to find a way to then, you know, take that, that energy, take that enthusiasm and put it into action develop those plans. You know, uh, I, you know, Dwight Eisenhower once talked about the fact that, that plans are useless, but planning is essential. 
And, and I am a big believer that in your life, you need to be intentional. You need to develop a plan for what you want to accomplish in life. I am a big believer in setting goals, but also holding yourself accountable for those goals. You know, we continue to review that and, and make sure that each and every day you walk into that day with a plan. You have an understanding about what are the most important things that you need to accomplish each and every day. You know, I love to when people talk about this whole idea of they don't have time or they talk about time management. You can't manage time. We're all given the same 24 hours in any given day. The question is, how do we use those 24 hours? How do we use those heartbeats? How do we use the, you know, those opportunities that we have? And you've got to be able to find a way to develop a plan, to put your focus on what is most important for you, and, and then be intentional, follow through, hold yourself accountable, and each and every day make sure that you're spending your time doing those things that are going to be the most impactful to allow you to accomplish those great goals. You know, they always talk about if you want to get something done, go to a busy person because busy people have found a way to organize their day, organize their time. So they're spending their time and making the highest and best use of that great resource that we've been given. And the second thing is build a team, you know, engage with other people who will share the with you, who will hold you accountable, who will who will, em who will embrace that same journey. And so that you'll work together and you'll share those best practices, share those ideas, share that passion and commitment and bring together a myriad level of talent to get things done. Again, you know, one as each individual, we can do a little bit, but as a team, as a community, as a family, we can do great things. Yeah, absolutely. Great stuff. Happy to have you come on the show. This is awesome. So once again, the book, Pillars of Purpose, Leadership Lessons for Achieving a Life of Significance. David Pickler, obviously, Pickler Wealth Advisors. David, once again, wrap up with where we can go to get the book and follow you and your efforts. Sure. www.pillarsofpurpose.com and amazon.com. You know, buy Pillars of Purpose. And, and, and I promise you, you'll enjoy the read. Well, David, thank you for all you do to power the good. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Higginbotham Insurance and Financial Services is proud to power the City Current Show. We're a people-first company that protects what matters most, the families, businesses, and trailblazers that keep our community going. As one of the nation's top independent insurance firms, Higginbotham is a single source solution for business insurance, employee benefits, HR services, and personal insurance that's customized for you. We're here to serve you, the people you care about, and your community. Call 866-377-1959 or visit Higginbotham.com.